Today, at any busy hour, 75,000 people may be traveling in the air at one time, and their numbers are increasing every year. The nation's active civil air fleet, including air carriers, business, and pleasure planes, now numbers more than 100,000. The Federal Aviation Administration, known as FAA, provides round-the-clock services necessary to assure safe, efficient flights for air travelers. One of the most important activities is the control of the nation's airways, and more than a third of FAA's 43,000 people are engaged in some form of air traffic control. Tower controllers work with aircraft landing or taking off, After takeoff, the plane, with the assistance of radar, is guided to a point where control is passed to an air route traffic control center, one of 21 centers located around the United States. As each flight moves across the sky, control is passed from center to center until it reaches its destination safely. Using radar, Controllers maintain a protective space around each aircraft to ensure a safe, orderly movement of the flight. Radar scans the sky for airplanes which show up on controllers' radar scopes as bright dots or blips. At designated points along the flight, the aircraft's position is confirmed by the controller. This information is noted on the airplane's flight strip as a continuing record. There is careful, individual control of each IFR flight and constant communication between controller and pilot. The control centers, in effect, monitor and control flights along a complex system of highways in the sky. With more than 250,000 miles of airways and more than 100,000 planes, including military traffic, the system must not only be well operated, but well planned. This, too, is FAA's job. These highways in the sky are formed by signals from hundreds of radio navigation stations called VOR and Vortac. Hundreds of these facilities and half a million miles of communications lines are used in the coast-to-coast -coast network. In addition to operating these facilities, FAA maintains them so pilots will have a dependable aerial navigation system. Sixty-five FAA aircraft, specially equipped with the latest electronic devices, fly back and forth across the country more than 90,000 hours a year, constantly checking these navigational aids for accuracy and to ensure they are operating at peak efficiency. FAA's air safety responsibility begins with the aircraft. The administration monitors every phase of design, planning, and production to see that each plane meets established standards of safe, reliable flight. And the testing program is closely monitored on the ground, in exhaustive flight test programs, and even underwater in pressurization tests. And FAA supervises the physical examination of each pilot every six months for an airline pilot to make certain he is qualified for his job. And then there's the year-round medical research effort to investigate flight and its effects on man. Another continuing activity is the work of the FAA flight inspectors. These men, all fully qualified pilots themselves, periodically evaluate the performance of the airline pilots, the procedures and safety precautions in effect. FAA responsibility extends beyond commercial aviation to general aviation, business planes and private planes. 
It provides many services to the nation's 196,000 private pilots who must be licensed by FAA and supervises all administration-approved flying schools. The FAA also contributes to the national security by establishing a common air traffic control system for use by both military and civil aircraft. FAA conducts research and test programs designed to make aviation safer and more efficient. One such project is the use of flight simulators to study and evaluate air traffic. Each of these machines simulates an aircraft. Each operator, a pilot. Meanwhile, in another room, FAA controllers analyze the traffic problems flown by the simulators. Another project confirmed FAA guidelines limiting the operation of jet aircraft when more than a half inch of water, slush, or snow covers the runway. Still another continuing research project is the improvement of runway lighting systems. But whether it is research or any of its other many responsibilities, the Federal Aviation Administration has one primary goal, to provide for the safety of those who use the airways and for the safety of the public at large. <laughs>